Oh. Yo. Check it. Oh, and listen too. Because music's really, really good. Wait, no, this isn't the right. This is a different... Is this in a different opening credits? I don't remember. Ah, oh, I feel so old now. This feels like it's all out of order. Is there an alternate opening to this? No, it seems fine. Hang on. Where's the Activision logo? There's From Software. Good old, good old boys, good old pals. Okay, no, yeah, that was the intro. Okay, we're starting now, I guess. Hello, Wounded Edge is back again with Lost Kingdoms 2, which I didn't think I was gonna get to this right away again. I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll put some more games in between this and the sequel. And I was like, nah, I really want to play this 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 game because this is awesome. Similarly <clears throat> to playing Lost Kingdoms 1, I uh, haven't haven't played this one in a while, in, in in basically just just as much time. It's one of those games where it's like, oh, Lost Kingdoms, what a nice little thing. This is such a nice little thing. It'll probably never get a sequel. And then, and then this happens. And I'm like, what? Really? Whoa. You just drop your kid off? Huh? Oh. Look, it's the thing. Okay, I think this is what I was remembering as an intro. So yeah, they use... Oh no, look! Monsters! How could possibly... <gasps> She's got a trading card! It was a bomb card. It was a trap card. Oh yeah, and there's our good old friend, the... Uh, Fire Raven. I think it's called. Oh, I remember the back flip. Oh, hey, that's uh, that's uh, uh, summoner, necromancer. Oh, it's Birdman. Oh, I'm getting hyped. Oh, oh this is so good. All right, because that's the type of card you transform into. Uh huh. Yeah, she don't. She don't give no. She don't give any. Oh, oh! For many generations, land of Argwells prospered under the enlightened rule of its queens. Yeah. Mighty armies, ferocious demons, and even ancient gods all bowed before the queens of Argwell and their enchanted rune stone. But the lust for power is not easily quenched. Many coveted the queen's rune stone and the power it brought. Eventually, what? Oh, excuse me. A way was discovered to mass produce rune stones. These new rune stones were not as powerful as the real rune stone, but they did give their users power over lesser monsters. The new rune stones quickly became popular among the elite. I thought it was going to be say, quickly popular among children. These lucky, those lucky enough to acquire the expensive stone, to quickly gain reputations as fearsome warriors. One rune stone master was Tara Grimface. <laughs> Abandoned by her family when still a mere child, she trusted no one. She loved only one thing: her rune stone. This is the tale of Terra Grimface, which is such a name, in the battle for Argwill. Before she took her place alongside Queen Cassia and the pantheon of Argwillian legends, she was merely Terra Grimface, that thief warrior and member of the band of the Scorpion. I'm sorry, it's a cool name, but it sounds like a, like a, like an OC name, like a, a deviant art name almost. 
or maybe also maybe a um uh, like an early Resident Evil main character name. What the? Where am I? Do I actually? Oh hi! We all got the loot. We got all the loot. It's time to get out of here, fellow bandit. Oh, I see. They opened up all these chests. Yeah, so in this one, we don't actually uh, get into battles randomly. We use our cards like so. And we give damage numbers to um, foxes. Very nice. What's a scythe beast? We still can only put one thing in a thing per each, though. One thing in a chest per each. Dark Raven? Dark Raven, that's what it was. Oh, hey, Blue Fairy. Thanks. I'm already full health. I'm already at full health. So, yeah, um... Oh, status system boards. What's my status? There's my status. This is such a screen. This is such a video game screen. I've got... 70% of 30% resistance to sleep. Dude, Elden Ring ripped this off. I like this curse. This, you know what? This is also kind of like in Souls games, right? But instead of moving a cursor around, you use the D-pad or whatever. And you know what? I think I prefer this more. Oh, I can... Okay. Okay. Enough. Enough. I, I have all the time in the world for that. Let me actually go and progress the story. Weird that they put a little guy back there. Just to be like, hey. Um... Can't quite look around. Uh, holding R, I think, is still to discard cards. Although I think... Hang on, let me check with uh, this because it's useless. Yeah, okay, so I discarded that one Hobgoblin card, but it went back to the bottom of my deck. So it's not actually <clears throat> a huge problem anymore. Or it's, it's less of... It's, it's, it's a little easier on you, I suppose. Boss is waiting for us outside. Rendezvous at the wagon when you finish off the rest of the enemy. The enemy. I hear like a red fairy around here somewhere or something. I want to look around at the environment. Hey, you know what I just realized? No more diorama, huh? Wow, I never put two and two together before. But yeah, no more uh, diorama thing. Wait here until everyone gets out. This is guy's soul. Not not yet bad guy. Just so. Make sure you take care of the guards at the entrance. We'll be here for a long time. I have to go kill. Yeah, this is Tara Grimface. I kind of like her design. <clears throat> a little bit more than the uh, Katia, maybe. She got uh, more color going on, I guess. My apologies. My voice is not quite up to snuff right now. I finished eating sandwich. And it was pretty good, and now I might burp a little. What the? Oh. Okay. No arms. You take out the monsters on the other side of the door? I'm on it. <laughs> Remind me how to fight. Sure. Haha, <laughs> by the gods, I never thought I'd live to see the day when Tara Grimface told a joke. Let's go out there and start slinging around those magic cards of yours, like you always do. Cards currently available for use. Da da da. A, B, X, Y. Yeah. Uh oh. Monster. It's a water type, so I'll use a uh, ground. Um, yeah, that was good. So you're fire. You got confused somehow. That was odd. Yo, I took care of him. Okay, now. Just took out the blue fairies. That's nice. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to rely on hobgoblin card. There's no way I can speed up the camera movement, can I? No. Oh! Ooh, music. Battle music. Oh, he was small and then he got big. Oh, I see. Okay, so up on the C-stick when that little yellow sprite is near him to lock on. He died in one hit. like a special boss of some kind. I might want to uh, try and capture you. 
Let's see. If I can. Okay. No, I didn't want to, uh... I was holding it wrong. I was holding it incorrectly. Hang on. Let me get that fairy again. Let me sift through all my guards. Okay. So. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't think I have the ability to... Hang on. Let me check real quick. Do I not have the ability to capture card? Uh, controls. Discard, Z effect combo, reset camera. No, I might not be able to capture card in this game. Okay. Well, then I'll just finish them off. Still gotta pick up those magic stones, though. And he dropped me 62G. Uh-oh. Is that it? Did I find the boss monster right away? I think I did. Those other doors might have been locked. Uh, finally, there you are. Another successful operation for the band of the Scorpion, thanks to you. Hey, what did I say? Confound that girl. She won't even accept thanks. But no problem, as long as she keeps doing her job. Yeah. Awesome. I like how in the background area there, they just had, um, what appeared to be textures of dark trees in the, in the, in the background to simulate the idea of, look, 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 they're in the middle of a forest somewhere. That's nice. Monsters defeated, damage suffered, cards used. Help me. Number of monsters you defeated in this mission. Okay. Oh, well, I only got two stars. Oh, so instead of being like a five card thing, they get a... Okay, I see. Uh, this is still here. But it's not as bad as if I remember, I think. Well, I got two of those. Beaker. Uh, what does this do? Water. Independent. Only one stone. Da -da -da. Here's a sharp beak to inflict paralysis upon its enemies. Bizarre creature built around a very sharp beak. It's a very limited attack range. Yeah, okay. Well, I got two of them now. And it's not going to show me what all the other cards were. Okay. Bashy High Road. Okay. Can I actually... Um... I know this. Look, yeah. I just want to see... Oh, this art is really cool, too. I think I prefer the old art in the first game, but this is pretty good, too. This is all the different monsters, right? Oh, I start from the... here. Huh. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just... Okay, just so that I can, you know. Mysterious sealed doors to store. Appears to be locked. Okay, well, there's monsters in there, it seems. Saw their health bars. Hmm. I can see it on the map. Oh. What the heck? Oh, you're, you're... <clears throat> you're, uh... That type. Ooh, get a cool lightning bolt. Maybe these doors are locked because, um... Oh, you're different. I thought you were the same enemy type. <gasps> I got three uses out of Dragon Knight in this game. This is awesome. Okay, so now that I... No. Darn, is there no way to open that? There's no switch I can hit? No. Unless I can smash? No. That's a good way to use up cards, though. Smash pot? I can. All these stupid hobgoblin cards out of here. Our cards will refresh when I leave anyway, so. I had no idea you could smash these pots. Oh, there's a guy. Go for it, man trap. He died instantly. Cool. 
Oh yeah, the little purple soul goes up and away, huh? Man trap, get in here. Help me. Man trap, this is why you weren't in the cool CG animated intro. It's your bad card. I'm gonna have to double up these guys just to take out one little weak dude. Look, my thing is paralyzed. It got webbed up. Ugh. Oh wow, you can see in the deck, my cards are still, they're, they're still, um, got some, uh, some, some drainage on them. Alright, I guess we're leaving. Cannot do nothing there. That's cool, I should probably, before, uh, moving on, save. Save the data. Oh, hey. My old save file is only at level 18? Huh. I wonder how... How, uh... <clears throat> what that means for, like, um... What am I trying to say? What level will I be when I get through this time? Oh, we have different decks. Okay. Uh, okay. There's a little more depth. Oh, we can only have one of one of so many of a type. Or no, I think that's how many we have. You know, I'm not gonna I'm yeah, I'm only gonna need one. And even then, I won't need it. So I have a scythe beast? Cool. And sure, put those guys in there. Actually, I guess because I have so few cards, yeah, keep keep all of them. Choose cards to be removed. Yeah, confirm change. Okay. Okay. Slightly different uh, interface. Ooh, look at this. Look at this arena. What is that card in the bottom right? What's that spinning? Is it a skeleton in a hat? Okay. What up, dudes? Tell me the truth. You despise us, don't you? You've been with us for years, but you never really tried to become one of us. Think you're too good for us common thieves, right? Okay. Hello, horse. Something about this horse is just a little... off. I can't quite place it. It looks strange. Alright, scorpions, we can't be here. You've all done well. You're free to do as you please until our next job. Cool. I'm taking this. Pork your pig. Okay. Monsters around here aren't all that scary, are they? I guess not. Cards are divided into several different categories determining how they can be used. Take a look at the icons. Mark with sword, keep your weapon types. Launch an attack and the incident's button is pressed. Use the type of card when you want to attack an enemy directly. The walking man icon denotes independent type cards. They appear when the card is activated, remain in the battlefield to the expire. I'm not gonna go over summons types. I guess this is a porcupig. You need to defeat any monster gems known as magic stones will appear on the screen. Collect magic stones, replenish your supply of magic. Find magic stones while your reserves are already full. We count as gold pieces. Okay, so it's not extra experience, now gold. He didn't drop anything. Guy over there. Hi. Hey, sir, but you can't throw a card all the way to the other bank. If you do it, I'll give you one of my cards. What do you say? You're on. Should be able to toss independent and helper type cards quite a distance. If you're no wimp, that is. Hold down the cards button. Da -da -da -da. Technically, we'll use when summoning independent or helper types. Helper type. I did it. Look at him. I'll be darned, you sure do throw a pretty card. Tara, here's that card I promised. You can't even use- oh, well maybe he can use the card. Maybe he's got a copy runestone. Elephant, that's alright. But I can't get over there. Ooh. 
like the reflection in there. In the water. That might just be a, a double of the model. Like turned upside down, kind of. Hmm. able to explore a little more freely in this game given the camera angle you're not stopped by random battles every uh, every few steps I feel I can get over there oh there's a guy over there I think that's soul none of the cards in your hand seem useful try discarding one or more discard we're holding on it's got cards are not gone forever the dude go to the bottom of your deck yeah I mean, I don't need to fight you. Actually, yeah, I don't need to fight you. What? Oh, whoa, we got the old camera back. Okay, by part tapping down on the thing. Okay, so, oh, I see. It's kind of, it's quite odd, actually. Up will sometimes target an enemy. Excuse me. Excuse me. And then L is... Okay. Oh, so we do get the old camera back if you want it. I'm gonna go talk to Soul. Okay, you kind of die in one hit anyways, so... There you go. What does it say? Bashia High Road, North Kadishu, East Bashia. Going to Kadishu, this is the road to take. Be careful, Terra. I think I saw Storm Hagen near there. He's got a big old sword. Check this area out before we leave, I suppose. Oh, a red lizard, cool. He does fire damage. Once a mission starts, you will not be able to edit your deck of cards. If you acquire new cards while on the mission, you can add them to your deck from a deck point. This is an example of a deck point. Deck points are not just for adding new cards to your deck, they can also be used to replenish your hit points. It's got a little animation this time. Look at that, that's cool. All right, let's add some cards, I suppose. I did it. We have quite a few places to go. Poor Cupid. Elephant. Oh, those cards are all put on the top of my deck, too. Every monster and creature has one of the six attributes. Fire, water, earth, wood, mech. Or neutral. Mech is the new type for this game. Water is an advantage over fire. Earth beats water, wood beats earth, fire beats wood. You're fighting a Storm Higgin wood. You might use your Hobgoblin. Fire. No, you would never use your Hobgoblin. You know what? Maybe it's a little better in the sequel. You can sell the attribute your card. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. Oh, these guys. I see. So, I don't want to use my, um... Whoa. What a mighty attack. Oh, these guys run. These guys got the runs. Ouch. Hey, how about your run interference? Well, that was... Whoa! I just leveled up, and I think I got plus to a bunch of my stats. Get him. Get him, dudes. Oh, I can even... I can lock onto a guy from this camera angle. That's probably a lot better. In a lot of scenarios. Wow! You did something. You know what? I'm proud of you, Hobgoblin. No! I let me pick up the things. So once I pick these, like, um... Cool, more man traps. Yeah, so if I go back to Bashia... Oh, Kadishu is a town, if I remember right. So there's no actual battle there. Um, oh, what's this? There's probably multiple paths here. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. drop a little save. Drop a little save here. Oh, we got 25 minutes, that's cool. And then we will uh, 
check out this place and then return to Bashia, probably. Wow, look at this. It looks good. <laughs> okay. So back there <laughs> is the edge of the world. Um, we got a chest. Looks like a little red secret chest way over there on the right, hiding behind that tree. Let's go grab that. Yeah, I'm gonna try and bump this audio just a little bit. I'll have to uh, fine tune this as I go along. I can hear it, but the way it is heard in the actual video that'll be rendered is a little different. Rock Hagen. Oh. That's one of the cards that, um... From the boss anyways. I'm hearing, like, the fairy sound effects. But not see no fairy at all. Makes me think that might be a secret. Or a fairy spawned in the wall. So, here we are. At Kadishu. Kadishu Town. This is our Kokiri village, I guess. I can't read this sign. Let's chat everybody up. Hi, where's this path go? Jarvi's house is just on the outskirts of town. But if you're looking for Jarvi, he's in the desert trying to catch fairies. Hope he's alright. Say the sand dudes are full of monsters. Okay. This dude's got a tiny head. Her the Kandari base their rune stones on the real one, the one the queen owns. That stone you have, that was made in Kandaria, right? I can't ABXY to uh, summon monster. Hello. I heard there was a stranger in town. I'm afraid you won't find anything exciting to see in this little town. Okay, cool. I see a box up here. Demon Hound. That's alright. Man, this is such a chill tune. Well, if I had a runestone, I certainly would be caught dead wearing it on my back like that. Just think of all those bandits and rogues that would see it and want to steal it from me. Oh my. There's something to do with as well. I guess not. There's a red fairy over there. What the? There's a. What is this? Acquired some garbage. Congrats. <laughs> Freaking Undertale dialogue. <sighs> I'm a good Samaritan. I pick up garbage on the floor. I'm in charge of this horse, miss. I feed it and take care of it. You're doing a good job. You two having a real cool conversation while you're social distancing? Have you been to the top of the hill yet? You're the best statue of Queen Katya in all the land. Why well, you can't come here and not see the statue, ma'am? They say that in Kandaria they have invented some sort of mechanical creature made of iron, they say. I met a fellow who said he saw one of the new machines fighting alongside Kandari soldiers in a battle. One of the machinas. There's the fairy. There's the red. Come here, you. Do you know a human named Jarvi? Supposedly he's bringing together all the red fairies in Argwal. This sounds familiar. A friend said I would be able to find him if I came to this town, but I don't know what he looks like. Do you think you could take me to Jarvi's house? Yeah. Child. Wish I had a rune stone so I could use it myself. Oh. Girl's gonna catch up to you. Gonna catch you. No, she doesn't care. You're so lucky. I wish I knew how to use a rune stone. I'm getting pushed by that kid. Do you think you can get me a fire moray card? An earth moray card and a water moray card. Why? If I had those three cards, I could make a new kind of card for you. 
This is the most, like, NPC dialogue I've heard in a video game yet. Sometimes I'll try and dress it up and be like, Oh, I, I need it for a thing I'm making, for my wife, or whatever. This guy's like, I can make you a good thing if you give me three things. You toss some garbage into the trash can. You're filled with determination. I guess there's a... Is there just three pieces? Is there a bunch more? This is such a dirty trash can. Found a leprechaun card. Awesome. Wait, didn't he say this statue was up on the hill? I can't, like, really look at it. My, what strange clothing you wear. I should think a young woman like yourself would want to wear pretty dresses. Not such rough and tumble bags as you have, as you have on. We don't see strangers around here very often. You're the first one I've seen in years. Cool. Is Katya? Well, it's not Katya, it's a dude. What are you doing? Hey, lady. That's a nice roan stone. I have something you need. For a mere 1,000 gold pieces, I'll give you the best card you ever saw. Here are the 1,000 gold pieces. Get back! <laughs> Get back! Okay, but it's your last girly. How much money do I have? I have 129 gold. I couldn't even if I wanted to, but I guess I'll remember that he's here. Hiding behind the statue. Uh. There's a red box over here. A little sprint would be nice. A little run. I don't know. Oh! 200 magic stones. Yeah, that just turned into money. I hear a dog? There's a, a dog? I can't go back there. Probably for the best. Birds. Goodbye, birds. Hi. Say, you have ever heard of the Z effect? What? You think you know everything, yeah? But, oh no, 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 I don't know it. I heard this from a Kandari. Apparently the Z effect is a way of boosting the power of a card. Uses twice the normal magic power, but if you're up against a nasty critter, it might be just the thing. Oh, power boost mode. Cards will glow blue when in power boost mode. Pause the card activation button again. Or press it again. Okay. Interesting. I don't remember that. That sounds useful. Flare spawn? They give me a bunch of different types of cards. Oh, I'm a little shocked I can go back here. Cool. Dragonoid. That's all right. If it works the way it used to. Aha! You ever heard of a Hagen? It's kind of an ogre. There are three kinds. Storm Hagen, Rock Hagen, and P Bum Hagen. Put all three kinds together, they'll do a special trick, supposedly. The three elements. Uh, storms, the rocks, and a, a bum. Bum Hagen. Hello. Now, what was I doing to make going to, to make for dinner tonight? Yeah, okay, okay. Can't wait for dinner. At a certain point, you may as well just put an NPC and the box just says dialogue. We red fairies love to play and hide and seek. Mainly hide, actually. When I'm hiding, I'll just sit there. I won't budge, even if a human comes near. I'm the best hider in my clan. You say as you come out of this hiding hole. I 
don't understand. Why is everyone so mean to me all the time? It's not my fault they don't have magic stones. Definitely forgot that was a thing that would happen sometimes. Flashbacks, cool. She spoke, she spoke words. Hey. Is this, what's going on in here? Whoa, this is cool. Oh, that's Katia. Cash, catch, catch you. Yo, oh, he's here to, to buy me. Buy, buy, buy me cards. Upgrade. Can, I can upgrade this. 2,000. Oh, wow. XP is quite doled out nicely. It's not doled out quite nicely. Excuse me. I'll get a blue. Yeah. Turn one of these into a blue, please. Because I have a bunch of these and I could use a blue. There he is. Okay. What do you guys sell? <gasps> skeleton. Give me like three skeletons. Oh, sea monk. Oh, maybe should have bought one of those. It's okay. We'll be all right. Can I? Uh, I'm. I don't really need a bunch of those. I don't sell for much. But uh. It's all right. All right, see ya. Look at this! Look at this art! Oh my god, this tells a whole story almost. This ancient card hiding in the hiding away in the overgrown ruins. Your secret? No. No secret there neither. Okay, to the stairs we go. Man, I was saying we'll go back to Bastia. That might have to be for our next episode. Remember many years ago, a young girl was left here by strangers. Abandoned she was. That girl shared a runestone like you. She loved that stone. She wouldn't give it to anyone, no sir. I like how back then, or maybe, I suppose back then, Runestones were like kind of rare, right? And it's like, oh, random girl shows up with a big old runestone. I don't know. Those runestones are pretty expensive, I hear. I remember when some of them men in town tried to take that stone from her. Oh, you should have seen it. That little girl sent them all packing. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess they couldn't stand up to her and monsters. Sometime after that, a gang of ruffians came through town and carried her off. I wonder what became of her. Yeah. You ever seen a fairy that was blue? Well, blue fairies are related to us red fairies, even though they don't talk as much as we do. They're not bad or anything. You see one, try to catch it. Some of them can heal you, let you reuse cards that are already used up. Hi. Excuse me, young lady, but I couldn't help noticing your runestone. Is it true what they say about skill levels? I heard that every time you use a card of a particular attribute, your skill level up will, with that attribute type goes up. And that the higher your skill level goes, the more powerful cards you will be able to use. Is that true? No, It costs you twice the normal amount of magic stones if you can't do it. Huh. There's a lot of stuff I don't remember. I must. This must have been one of the games where I played it once, and I was like, "That's awesome." Have you heard of a gang of thieves that call themselves the Band of the Scorpion? They've been robbing people around here for years, but they're finally going to get what's coming to them. Yes, sir. They say a whole troop of Kandari soldiers is out hunting for them, right? No. Hanging is too good for him. Oh, he thieves. Oh, well, that's not good. That's that's dangerous. Yo, hang, hang on. That's Katia's statue? Well, who's that guy who's got an enormous statue? With a whole, like, amphitheater around it and a fountain and everything. Where is this do Oh, there's the dog. Hi. Well, he follow me. Dog, dog is friend. Nice. Hi. You're a thief, right? I saw you t talking to some men wearing masks one night. You were talking about stealing stuff. 
Don't worry, I won't rat you out for, to any of the townspeople. You're way too cute for the hats. All right, thanks, buddy. Quite a view, isn't it? I love this place. You can see the entire town from here. This is a statue of our first queen. Queen Castia harnessed the power of the gods to bring an end to war. She, she united all of Argwal into one kingdom. We have had peace ever since. Thank the gods for our queens. Hint, hint. Can I, uh, yeah. Well, sort of. Not really. Wow. That's not just straight up her model, right? That's a new... I assume that's a new model. Probably. Excuse me, dog. Demon Hound. Cool. Look at this beautiful town. It is, uh... One, two, three, four... Four big old houses and a card shop. Or it might be five, actually. I think I see another one hidden there. Got a pretty big wall for such a small town. Tall Desert. Gosh, yeah. I think... Yeah, okay, I can go straight to the car shop if I want. Cool. Uh, you know, I think that'll be it for this time. We're going on a little, little long here. But, uh... Well, it's good to get back to this, this little game. Is it just me? Is the brightness super high up here? Yeah, on the, on the screen over there. Like, on, on my screen, I can't see that mountain in the, in the distance at all. But I can on the other monitor. I'll have to adjust that a little bit, maybe. Ah, something for next time. Until then, goodbye.